Hey YouTube, how's it going? Chaos Emperor of Dragons here, bringing you a Rocket Revolt structure deck and it's going to show you how to make a budget deck, which basically assumes you can only got three of these boxes and no other cards. So I'm just going to show you a deck profile you can build with this. Uh, some really cool, interesting cards in this structure deck. So, first things first, we're going to have three of the Rocket Tracers. Really nice card. Uh, it's one of the new cards as well for this set. So if we just read out there you go, you can see it looks really nice. So it's got a nice effect, it's got a quick effect. So you target one face-up card you control, destroy it, and you can special one rocket monster from your deck except Rocket Tracer. Then it's got a condition where for the rest of your turn you can only special summon dark monsters. And you can only use the effect of Rocket Tracer once per turn. So it's a really nice effect. Uh, the dark monsters conditions, not um, really a problem because you've only really got dark monsters in your set. And in your extra deck, it's all dark monsters as well. So that's pretty fine. And obviously it's effect to destroy a card in the field and special summon out another rocket. Really great effect. Cool. So that's three rocket tracers. And then next, the next new card is the silver rocket. So this is actually a really nice card. So have a look at that. There you go, it's quite nice. Uh, so it so this is more similar to the other rockets where if it's targeted by Link Monster's effect, then it has a quick effect where it can destroy itself. And then this particular one will allow you to banish one card from your opponent's extra deck, which is actually a really powerful effect. It will give you a chance to like look at your opponent's deck, try to understand what they're running, and then give, remove a key monster that they will need to Link Summon. So if you're playing against someone who's using guard dragons, you'll remove either like LP or aggro pain, or kind of just stop the whole combo. For like a sky striker deck, you remove like the Kagari. Uh, Thunder deck, maybe the Colossus. So, you know, there's loads of things it can do. So a really powerful card, also a really fun card. And then it's got the effect when it's destroyed by battle or by effect, and it's in the graveyard. At the end phase, you can special summon a rocket set for itself, which is like a really nice effect. And a lot of the rockets have that. There you go, so that's Silver Rocket. Next, we've got Absoroto Dragon. This is another new card from the set. I'll bring that up. So this one's got a really nice effect. So it's a free special summon. So if you control a Rocket Monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. And you can only special summon one of them once per turn this way. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Rocket Monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect once per turn. So. Really nice card, free special summon, and then when it's sent to the graveyard, you get a free rocket monster to your hand. So really good card, really good combos with this as well, which I'll show in a net, another video. Cool. And now we're gonna move on to some of the other rockets. So we've got two rocket synchrons. So this is a nice card uh, in terms of its effect. So when you normal summon this card, you can target one level five or higher dragon in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position, but negate its effects and destroy it in the end phase. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except for dark monsters. So a similar effect to Tracer in terms of that conditional dark monsters, but a really good combo card. So like if I just show you like a quick combo that you could do with this. So you could summon like Rocket Tracer, and then you'd get a free summon of your Absoroto Dragon, because it was in your hand. Use Rocket Tracer to destroy it. So if you, this uh, obviously relies that you special summon this card with like quick effect or something. Then you'd normal summon this, and you could special summon out an Absoroto Dragon again. So it's just a really nice combo that could work out. Cool. So if we carry on with the deck profile. So carrying on all of the rockets, the next card we have is the Manga Rocket, which we're playing of two of. So a nice effect, a uh, link effect, so when it's targeted it will destroy itself and you can destroy one monster on the field. And then same as effect of the other rockets, so when it's destroyed by battle or by card effect and it's in the graveyard, in your end phase you can special summon out another rocket. So just a nice little monster removal on the field. And then we have Auto Rocket, so same thing, except for this will destroy a magic or trap card on the field. So very nice, so we're playing two of those. Now we get to our one of. so we're playing one Metal Rocket and one Shell Rocket. 
Um, so the reason I like these cards is so you get a link monster to target these. They both destroy themselves. So Metal Rocket will destroy anything in its column. And Shell Rocket will destroy one monster in its column. And then if there's any monsters adjacent, it will destroy those as well. So if you plan this right, this could be a really good mo uh, monster remover. Cool. So that's those two. So now we're moving on to sort of more the normal cards. So I'm playing two Gateway Dragon. Um, so I'm playing two of these because I quite like its effects. So bring it up so you can see. Let's just get to focus. There we go. So if your your opponent controls a linked monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. So a free summon if you're going turn two. But in turn one, you can normal summon this, and then it will allow you to special summon. Uh, one lower, uh, one level four or lower dark monster from your hand. So if you have this in your starting hand, it's really good because you'll get this out and you get a free special summon from your hand again, and then you can start comboing off, so, or at least get a link two play going. So playing two of those, and then last but not least, I'm playing one defrag dragon. Uh, this is just a combo extender. You know, you can discard a card, you can special summon it. Um, yeah, just a nice card. Some decks play three or five, just choosing the one. Cool, and then we'll move on to our magics. So we've got Quick Launch. Uh, cool, so this look probably a lot nicer as a secret rare, but it has a common. Um, but really nice effect. So a quick effect as well, so you can play in your opponent's turn you need to. Special summon one rocket monster from the deck, and it cannot attack, destroy it during the end phase. So this is quite nice. So even if it destroys the rocket monster you bring out in the end phase, that rocket monster will still special summon out another one. So you could set this in your opponent's turn, make them try to remove it, and then just activate it, and then get out a free summon, which is quite nice. But if you have this in your opening hand, it's a really good combo starter. Cool, and then for the next three of, we're playing three Squab Draw. So this is quite a nice card, I really do like its effect. Um, go back to focus. So target one rocket monster you control, destroy it. And if you do, draw two cards. You can only use one squad draw per turn. So really nice effect. So if you destroy your rocket monster, most of the rocket monsters will special summon another rocket at the end phase. So nice to use its effect. And you just get to draw two cards. So it's really nice. So just playing that at three. Uh, next we've got our fusion spell. So I've got one rapid trigger, one polymerization. Uh, sorry, two polymerization and one rapid trigger. So the reason for this is Rapid Trigger will destroy the two monsters that you use for fusion material, which is great if it's rocket monsters, then you can use their effect to then turn. But it has a condition, so if we bring that up. So his condition is um, fusion summon one fusion monster from the extra deck by destroying fusion materials listed on your field. But you can only tap monsters that are special summoned from the extra deck. Also, it's unaffected by effects from any other monsters special summoned from the extra deck. You can only activate one rapid trigger per turn. So it's a nice effect and it does protect as well, but it also limits you. So if your monster, your opponent doesn't have any monsters from the extra deck, like you can't attack directly either. Like you're gonna only attack monsters from the extra deck. And I think some people forget about that. So they'll use this special summon up uh, Borrow Lord Furious, but they'll forget it has that limiting condition on attacks. So that's why we're playing the two polymerization instead, uh, rather than three of this, just in case you get a free summon out of this. Cool. Not a free summon, like unlike limited. So next we'll play three Borla Regenerator. Nice card. Um, it's just a monster reborn, which is quite nice. And it will crip itself to the monster you special summon. Has to be a rocket. And then when it leaves the field, you banish that card and you get to draw one card as well. So quite nice. So maxing that out at three. Uh, next we've got two Boot Sector Launch. So this is the field spilled card. Um, so it's got some nice effects. So it's got mandatory effect where all rockets gain 300 attack in the defense. And then once per turn, you can activate one of the two. So either special summon two rocket monsters in defense position from your hand, or you can, if your opponent has more monsters than you, you can special summon rocket monsters from the graveyard up to the defense. So if they have like three, you've got one, you can special summon two. Or if they've only got the one, you can special summon one. So, nice card to have on the field. Uh, not max now at three, just because I don't want to make the deck too big. And it's not a card that you're going to rely on for the rocket deck to work. 
And then for the one offs, I've just got one dragon shrine, just like a free extend, uh, just a free put a dragon in the graveyard. And then Boral Supply, so I'm playing this at one, so I'm gonna talk about this a bit more. Uh, so I'll read out its effect. So join each standby phase, so yours and your opponents. If you control a Boral Link monster, so not a fusion, has to be Link, then you can target one rocket monster in your graveyard, special summon it, and then destroy it in the end phase. So this is a quite nice way to get a loop. So, you know, you could tell from its picture, you'd special summon Silver Rocket, and then because you've got a Link monster on the field, Boral Load, you'd most likely target your own Silver Rocket. It would then banish another card from your opponent's extra deck, and then it will destroy itself, and then spell. Um, then that will get you a free summon next, at the end of your phase. And then on your opponent's standby phase, you can bring it back. So just a really nice little loop as well, which is quite nice. Uh, doesn't always come off, so I'm only gonna play that at one. That's it for the magics. And now for the traps. So I'm playing two zero day buster. Apologies the video quality, like trying it on my phone, it will get better. Um, so this is quite a nice card, a new trap card for the deck, super rare. So you target one Dark Link monster, or you tribute one Dark Link monster, and then destroy cards on the field up to its loop ranking. So it's quite nice if you have a level three or a level two, you tribute it, and then you can destroy two, three cards on the field. It's quite nice, good way to try and clear your opponent's board, especially if you've got way to summon out more monsters. And then last for the traps, I've got two Mirror Force, there's that there, and one Imperial Order, so pretty straightforward. That's it for the main deck. Let's just quickly go through the extra decks. Uh, so I'm maxing out Boral Lord Fierce Dragon, you know, as we've got one Rapid Trigger and two Polarization, so this is like the new kind of big card that they've brought out in the deck, which is quite nice. So two dragon, two Dark Dragon Monsters, so this would even be a good super poly target as well. Uh, quick effect, you can target one monster you're, you control and one card your opponent controls, destroy them. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target one Dark Link monster in your graveyard and special summon it. But you cannot activate its effects this turn, you can only use each effect of Burial Sword once per turn. So, quite a nice card, you know, if it's in your graveyard you get a free summon as well of a Dark Link monster which is quite nice. Uh, good card overall actually, so quite a nice one to max out three. I could probably see this getting played in some main decks as well, just because it's a good super poly target as well. Uh, cool. So next we've got two Topologic Zoroboros, the new boss monster of the deck. Let me just zoom in a bit there, here you go. So two effect monsters plus to bring it out, and it's got the effect of, if you special summon any monsters to the zones it points to, it banishes all cards on the field. And then in your next standby phase, it will special summon itself. So you would special summon this out to your extra monster zone. Either you or your opponent will special summon to a zone it points to. And then it will clear the board and in the next phase you'd bring it out into the middle. So it points to both extra deck monster zones and your opponent won't be able to use either. So quite a nice card, but not maxing out, just putting it out too. Uh, next, if we come out a little bit, we've got three Borrow Dragons. It's a ball load, you know, what else do you need to know? Max it out at three. Next, we've got the quad ball load dragon. So this is one of the new cards as well. Really nice effect. Uh, you discard one card, then you could target one card in the field and destroy it. And then if you destroy a link monster, so you can even use itself, uh, then you can special summon out um, rockets up to that number, which is quite nice, so really nice card. Cool, got that at three. And then finally we've got two Triple Burst Dragon. Yeah, Triple Burst, quite a nice card. And then we've got two Booster Dragons. Um, so I like Booster because it's just an easy way to target your monsters and then activate the rocket effects. So that's it for the main deck and the extra deck. Uh, let me know in the comment sections what you think. Um, happy to hear any feedback. Hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe and let me know in the comment sections what other content you'd like to see.